How to Draw Draperies and Folds by Alexander Rishkin. We can begin with a flat surface, let's say a table. Imagine that a tablecloth is placed on that surface and wrinkled slightly. For example, that piece of fabric can form a couple of waves on the table's smooth surface. Geometrically, we have two different surfaces here. A flat plane of the table that is interrupted by a curved surface of the tablecloth. To explain those folds in drawing, we don't have to draw their outlines. Wavy surfaces can be described by gradations of tonal values. When fabric is draping some three-dimensional objects, the geometry of wrinkles is different from folds of fabric lying on a flat surface. Let's check the folds of a tablecloth that hangs down from the corner of a table or a piece of fabric that is placed on top of a cube. On the top plane, as well as on both vertical sides of the cube, the drapery is flat. But in the corner there is excess material that folds inward and outward, creating geometrical shapes resembling cones. The corner of such conical folds is pointing to the anchor point, which is the corner of the cube. This is the tension point where the fabric is stressed. The old masters used to develop drawing skills by drawing draperies for long hours. Such draperies were soaked in gesso, and when dried, they held the shapes of wrinkles forever. If you want to elevate your drawing skills to the next level, dedicate some time to draperies drawing. Every fine artist who has adequate art education spent hundreds of hours drawing still lives, including still lives with draperies before advancing to drawing clothed human figures. You can cover some geometrical objects like cones, cubes, and spheres with fabric and draw folds, studying their geometry and tonal values. The main objective of such practice is to learn how to reveal covered objects under draperies rather than how to portray some specific fold. The mastery of drawing draperies is when a viewer can easily understand what shape is concealed by the fabric. The great sculptor of the 17th century, Bernini, achieved such poetry of draperies that folds became artistic objects on their own in his monumental masterpieces. Here are some other useful exercises you can do. For example, you can draw a piece of fabric hanging on two nails. Such drapery has bold folds with aesthetic geometry. You need to keep in mind, though, that depicting outlines and major shadows is not enough. Every fold has its cross contours, explaining hills and valleys on the fabric surface, and the task is to portray those contours, including the depth of each valley and the height of each hill.